Hello people, what's up? Today is my newest tutorial which is going to be on Adobe Premiere as well as After Effects. What I'm going to be showing you how to do today is how to use um, a warp stabilize effect and I'm actually going to show you how to put it in to your Premiere quickly without having to save and render it several thousand times within After Effects and then re-importing it into Premiere. I've seen quite a lot of tutorials online which have been not really that informative because they just tell you how to save it they don't always tell you how to render it and then how to put it into Premiere because whenever I rendered it and saved it it never actually got into Premiere so this is my kind of own way that I found out how to do it I'm sure lots of other people do it um, this is the video that I'm going to be showing you to create as you can see there it's incredibly smooth only with a little bit of flicker that's with warp stabilization on if you had it turned off obviously it's going to be a lot more flickier than that but what it does is it creates a really professional look to anyone's videos and it makes it look a lot, lot more better. It looks kind of like a dolly shot, which is what professional in the industry uses, which is like a little crane camera that goes along tracks. So if you just select what um, video you want to use first, so I'm going to be using not the same piece that I just showed you there, but a different piece because obviously it makes it look a little bit better. I'm going to show you kind of what the difference is. Uh, this is actually a video I'm doing at the moment and currently editing so you're not actually meant to see this because it will soon be on here but for now I'll just show you how to do this so yeah here's the video that I've chosen basically as you can see there it's pretty shaky where the Sherco is it's going to pan along to the right and it moves around quite a lot and it's not that great it's a bit rough and it's not really that smooth so what you want to do is you're going to drag that down into your composition in Premiere, no matter if you've got anything in it, it doesn't really matter. Just open up Premiere and put your, your video in it. Then once you've done that, you want to unlink them by uh, double clicking and then going down to unlink. What this does is unlinks the video towards the audio so you're able to have the video on its own. Then what you want to do is you're going to go down to replace with After Effects Composition, which is right at the bottom there. And then once you've clicked on that, what it's going to do is it's going to open up After Effects for you without you even having to open it. So you don't need to open it before you've done this. Even if you have, it's still fine because it will just appear in your After Effects Composition. It's going to open up a whole new entire document for you to start from scratch. So it'll be much more easy for you to edit around that rather than have the whole of what you're editing in Premiere in After Effects. So basically if you highlight a clip, put it in, it'll only have that clip in it. And obviously I haven't got audio on it and I'm pretty sure After Effects doesn't support audio. If I'm wrong, tell me off, but I'm, I'm not that familiar with it yet. I'm getting there. So anyway, just put in whatever you want. I'm gonna save it as tut. Um, yeah, call it whatever. This is just gonna be your basic save file. So once it's it's in, as you can see there, it's already come up with the uh, the composition for me. It's got the pan frame two already in, and it's it's already got it in there for me. I haven't had to drag it in. I haven't had to play around with it. It's just it's there. So what you want to do is you want to go down to distort on the effects panel and then click warp stabilizer. It takes quite a long time, depending on how long your video is. If it's like three or four seconds long, it won't take very long. But if it's about a minute, you're going to be looking at quite a long time, about 5, 10, 15 minutes, depending on how quickly your computer can process it. Obviously, I'm using an Apple MacBook Pro, which is quite fast. But in this case, it is going to take about three minutes to do it. So you're going to see two different boxes come up. You'll see the blue one, which is analyzing in background, and you'll see the orange one, which will be stabilizing. It doesn't take long to do it. So as I said there, three minutes analyzing and stabilizing. Once it's done it, it's finished for you, and you're going to have a lot more professional looking piece of work. It's going to look like you've shot it on a dolly or a glide cam or whatever, steady cam. It's going to look really smooth compared to what you normally would see. You've got in the corner, you've got like all the different modules which you can change it to. I've left it on default because on default it looks just as good. So if we click preview, this is obviously on default as I've just said. It's going to look just as good. So yeah, as you can see there, this is obviously not in real time as it says up in the corner. But you can see that's a hell of a lot smoother than before. It looks like it's flickering, 
but that's only because it's a minute frames per second. As you can see out there, it's doing 11 frames per second, and this camera would shoot like 30 to 60. So as you can see, it's a lot more smoother. And if you go back into your Premiere, without having to save it in After Effects first, it's got a little yellow bar above where you was previously editing it. Editing it sorry. All you're going to have to do then is click Enter, or go up to the Sequence module at the top and click on render entire work area. Once it's done that, it's pretty straightforward and you'll have your finished piece in Adobe Premiere without having to do much to After Effects at all. All you're going to have to do is just simply save it at the end in After Effects when you close it down and it'll be there and it'll be fine and it'll be good forever. So remember that all you have to do is click save on After Effects panel when you close it down. You don't need to render it, you don't need to make movie, you don't need to do anything else because replacing the composition literally just transfers it over onto your new piece, onto your new Premiere composition. So there you have it guys. It's simple as that. I hope this has helped because I struggled with it so much when I first tried looking and trying to find out how to do this because not many people explain it very well. Hopefully I've explained it as in-depth as possible. If you want to ask any questions, message me, whatever. I really don't care and I'll help you guys out because I needed the help when I first started doing this and I'm sure there's other people that are like me that want to know how to do it. So as you can see here, playing it in full speed at 25 frames per second, it looks beautiful, apart from the lag there. Regarding the lag, it looks fine. So let's make it a little bit bigger and I'll show you guys what it looks like. If I can just find the right place. I really should get better at tutorials. Anyway, there you go. Look, it looks perfect. It looks a lot better than it does before. So I hope this tutorial has helped you out and thank you for watching.